Good afternoon everyone, it's Erin here at Airport Auto Sales. I am in an 08 Nissan Altima and I just wanted to uh, discuss a little bit about the gauges on the dashboard. Um, so starting off, we're going to talk about the one all the way to the left. Uh, this is a tetrometer, so this shows the speed at which the engine is rotating. Um, on this gauge, you'll see RPM and that stands for revolutions per minute. Uh, the numbers on the gauge, you can see how it says times a thousand, so if the gauge is at um, 25, it's really at 2,500 RPM, and the touchometer also serves as a diagnostic tool, so the relationship of the engine RPM to the vehicle speed shown on the speedometer gauge is important. <clears throat> when driving, as the RPM increases on your gauge, the vehicle speed should also increase on the speedometer. If not, there may be a transmission issue. Uh, so the next, the next gauge we're going to talk about is going to be the center one. This is the speedometer. Um, everyone should be aware of this gauge, um, and particularly if you've ever gotten pulled over and the cop asks you how fast you were going, this is the gauge that you <laughs> refer to. Um, so this indicates how fast the vehicle travels per mile. This gauge will have um, miles per hour on it, which stands for, or MPH, which will stand for miles per hour. And sometimes vehicles also have KPH, which stands for kilometers per mile. So the next one we're gonna talk about is gonna be this one right down here. So this is the odometer. The odometer reads the accumulated miles driven within the lifetime of the vehicle. Um, so this gauge will determine the value of the pre-owned vehicle because um, the miles, more, the more miles, the more wear and tear on the vehicle. <clears throat> um, sometimes people use the odometer to keep track of when uh, to service their vehicle. Just like for oil changes, you should be getting an oil change between every 3,000 3, to 5,000 miles. Um, and also the odometer reading is actually regulated by federal law. And the Next odometer is going to be the fuel gauge, that's going to be right above the odometer in this vehicle. <clears throat> um, but this is something that everyone should be familiar with as well. The fuel gauge, um, <clears throat> it's important to actually refill your tank when it gets to a quarter tank. Um, it can help prevent any problems and continuously running your vehicle uh, below the quarter mark may significantly shorten the life of the vehicle as well. Um, to the right with the H and the C, this is actually going to be the temperature gauge. This gauge shows the average temperature of the engine. Many people think that this measures the coolant in the vehicle, but that's not the case. Um, this gauge is actually really important um, for most, because the, <clears throat> the engines will operate anywhere between uh, 195 and 215 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, temperatures above this will damage the engine very quickly. And if the temperature goes above uh, 26 or 260, <clears throat> you're looking at possible permanent damage. And ironically, temperatures below 195 are also bad. So when the engine runs cold, sludge tends to form as well, and low engine temperature also uh, will lead to poor fuel, mi poor fuel mileage. Um, but alrighty guys, that is um, just about wraps up the gauges on the dashboard. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment, drop a like, um, come check out this Nissan Ultima.